Aquarius. All right. It's broken. Be careful that you don't break something. All right. Because it was it, the cookie was in good in good um, in good shape, but somehow when I brought it up, it sort of broke. So pure love is willingness to give without a thought of receiving anything in return. So there you have it. So either the person that you're dealing with doesn't know that. <laughs> or you're expecting something in return. So pure love is just giving, not expecting anything. Excitement, all right? There's gonna be a vacation coming in. This might be having to do with love or something like that, all right? You're highly thought of. Oh. She who is present, Tiras, now awareness, acceptance. So it's about being present, okay? So leaving the past behind, not thinking about the future, just being present so you can create your future. I think you're becoming clear audience, okay? Which means that you're hearing things or you hear like messages from spirit. No, wait, postponed, pause, say no. There's an impasse. Be present, okay? There might be something ahead that um, that you don't want to get into, all right? So just wait. That's interesting. I've never had that. Or something's going on and you need to say no even though you don't want to. Lady Portia, Divine Order. So do what you feel is right and important lesson is unfolding. This is about uh, higher intuition. This is about third eye awakening and opening up, okay? This is about following your intuition, even though it doesn't seem like you have to or like anything's coming, you sort of feel something's coming. So this is about pausing an impasse, okay? And maybe avoiding something that is um, significant, a t significantly a tower moment. It's about being aware, like something's gonna happen, like there's gonna be a tower moment or something electrifying or something, okay? It says excitement and then it says a no, so we'll see, ethers. Uh, in perfect love, in perfect trust, eight words of, of weakened read, fulfill, and you harm none, do as you will, forever mind the rule of three. Uh, who sent out comes back to thee. Follow this with wind and heart, and marry ye be. So whatever, whatever it is that they've sent you is going to be sent back. Okay, there's something heavy duty. This is about high priestess responsibility, another third eye awakening. So you're feeling that something's coming. Trust it. Okay, and then this is your power. You might be a shaman, or you might be a witch, or a light worker, or just very highly intuitive. Um, very interesting. You sense that something's coming. Trust it. Whatever uh, evil or 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 evil eye or bad intentions people have sent you, it's gonna go back. Okay, so don't worry about it. There's some like like negative energies around you. Okay, so be mindful of that. Don't be scared. Just be mindful. So milk and honey. All right, and serendipity. This is fated to happen. There's a wish fulfillment that's coming. This is for Aquarius. Highly intuitive. Assert yourself, go for what you want. The time is ripe for a soulmate connection. Birth of a child is also likely. So you might be pregnant, will be getting pregnant or having a child and this is about soulmate coming together something that's going to be very serendipity is going to come out but there's something you have to say no to maybe putting some sort of boundaries that you had not done so in the past or like dropping someone i don't know one enchanted evening the perfect night something's going to be just wonderful and enchanting and there's going to be a uh like a like a date or a, an enchanted evening that you're just gonna it's gonna be very romantic, okay? It's gonna be very exciting. Uh, 
blackberry, invasive tears. There's gonna be something that's gonna be very invasive and that's what you're gonna have to say no to, all right? And then you have maintain your childhood, your childlike spirit. Seven, eight, nine. You're gonna be so happy with something. Like you're gonna go out on a date. It's gonna be a very enchanting evening of some sort. Very interesting. All right. This is Aquarius. I'm gonna do another. Just because of the enchanted evening. Give me a minute. Do another tarot. This is for Aquarius. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonates. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. The only reader that interprets dreams that does a full spread of tarot and. Um, and oracles, please help me spread my message and grow. For those of you who have been here with me, thank you so much from the very beginning. You're releasing all that does not serve you and everything that you've been holding on tight with that does not serve you, okay? Also, like watch your money just for whatever reason if you're not saving. You're resting. Like I sort of feel like someone betrayed you and you didn't see it coming. It was a huge burden. You might also be recuperating from a back surgery of some sort. You're moving You're moving forward to happier times. This might also be like the birth of a child for whatever reason, or your children. You've severed something as well. There's gonna be some celebration, okay? You're not going back and forth anymore. You're not feeling regretful. Okay, there's going to be better times. You're feeling regretful or like something was like, um, did not serve you or it was a not wish fulfillment. You didn't feel stable. Somebody betrayed you or they were like non-truths. Okay, but you're moving forward even though you feel stuck. You also see things at a very different perspective about this ending or this betrayal having to do with the foundation that you felt you didn't have the courage with or, and, or you might be dealing with a Leo having to do with like, um, yeah, a foundation or like feeling on the defensive. You're trying to heal. You were very happy or you're moving forward to happiness, legacy. It's a wish fulfillment. You're protecting that as well. There's an offer coming or an engagement of some sort. This could be family. This could be like work related. You don't see coming. Yeah, huge commitment, fo forward movement. Somebody that's going to be committed to you. You've been waiting for a long time. Okay, you're no longer waiting. Maybe that's why things are moving. Things are going to be settled. There's going to be information coming in like a text or social media about um, this relationship where you were very confused in messages coming in of like maybe money coming in or stability or equal give and take or much more money coming in, like lots of money coming in, lots of like equal give and take. Okay, lots of prosperity. You've gone inward. You've gotten out of your head. You've released yourself. There's an apology that's coming in that you've been waiting for. Or there's going to be like a date or an offer that's coming in. This is a wish fulfillment. This was fated and destined. And the Wheel of Fortune is, is in your favor and moving. This can be a Taurus, a Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, someone possibly you've worked with. Or some sort of money that you've been waiting for. That you sort of gave up. That you Yeah, you've been waiting for. You're waiting for your ship's to come in. This is also lots of like uh, uh, fighting, okay? 
This might be a change in position if it has to do with work or it has to do with the reconciliation possibly. You hadn't been sleeping, all right? There was no truth about this partnership or some truth that you found out about going inward about this partnership having to do with some betrayal, um, some sort of love or love that they had. It wasn't equal give and take, but somebody's coming back. You cried a lot for this. Lots. You had a lot of love. There was a lot of gossip as well, I'm sensing. Oh, I don't know. Like Lots of people involved. You felt that this was a soulmate, that this was your person. You put in a lot of work and effort into it. There's a betrayal of some sort, loving betrayal, okay, that you're trying to heal from. There could have also been abuse and toxicity. But you're moving forward, or you might have two options. They're very manipulative as well. They might want a reconciliation or you do. There's an offer coming in, but you don't feel like this is gonna be just or happy at all. You just want victory and you're moving towards victory. You're not very motherly at this point either, like you've retracted it. This can also have to do with like a mother energy, all right? Possibly a Scorpio maybe, doesn't have to be, that you cut off all toxicity with. There's an offer that's coming in. Somebody that might be at a distance. It was a no-win situation. This was karma that played out. You're highly intuitive about this, okay? There's some justice that was served on some a tower moment that happened. Possibly like a leaving of a household as well. You're moving forward. There's going to be an offer, possibly of love, that might lead into a higher commitment, possibly a marriage with someone that's very stable, okay, that will not be, that will be, that will not be indecisive anymore. Yeah, they're going to speak the truth. Possibly also an attorney or law enforcement or something, but somebody very stable that is very wise, that is honorable and uh, honest. Okay, Aquarius, hope that helped. Love and light.